Weekend in Portland added the city's rise in homicides. Police say a shooting near the Safeway in Southeast Hawthorne is the latest case, and so far no one's been arrested. Our Liz Birch joins us live from where that shooting happened last night. So some very confusing situations going on here, but police say it all started with a disturbance on a bus. Dan, exactly. I asked police today if it happened on the bus itself or if the shooting was outside of the bus. They weren't able to give me that information, but did say it happened around this area here on Southeast Hawthorne. And we want to show you some video from that scene right now. Also in May, a bus driver was shot then. Today, Trima sent me this statement that said in part, quote, with the investigation still in its early stages, it's too soon to know whether we will be making changes to policies or procedures, end quote. Neighbors tell Coin they're worried about this increase in crime here after this most recent shooting. Even with brick walls and stuff, there's windows and there could be like stray bullets. It is very concerning to the point where my partner and I are thinking about getting out of inner city, which is a bummer because I love it here. Like there's rad venues, music shows, and just things to go do around here that are walking distance, but now I just don't really feel that cozy. Police confirmed to me today this is the 56th homicide of the year. 2020 saw an increase in homicides as well, but police tell me today we've already had two more homicides this year than we did for all of 2020. This graph you're looking at right now shows you how many more that is compared to recent years. So I did just speak with the Transit Union. You're going to hear from them coming up later this evening. Live in Southeast Portland tonight, Liz Birch, Coin 6 News. Liz.